Hey everybody, welcome back to Samsung in a Minute, the channel that trains you on your Samsung Galaxy devices in around two minutes. Today I'm going to show you that there is three different types of lock screen shortcuts you'd be able to use. One where there is multiple applications on the bottom. You tap it, either you unlock it with your facial recognition, fingerprint, or password, and it brings you directly inside of the application. Now for anybody who does not use any type of a security on the lock screen, it's really just a swipe, then this is going to be so much more convenient. You'd be able to swipe up with the application and get right in. Now, how you're able to use this one that we just got done showing, this is done through an application you do need to download, but the other two in this video is already pre-installed on your phone. Now, this first one that you're able to do is gonna be used underneath GoodLock. So once you download GoodLock, I know that it's not available in some countries. I've heard you'd be able to use VPNs to make it look like you're somewhere else. Restart your phone, turn it on, and then you're able to use GoodLock. Uh, but inside here in the United States, if you've downloaded GoodLock, you're gonna go into this option here that is called Lockstar. Now, inside of Lockstar, you're gonna go here where it says Edit Lock Screen. Now, on the bottom of this page here, you're gonna see this option here that is called Items. Now, inside of Items, this is where you see this option here that's called Shortcuts. You can make it to where there is no shortcuts at all, you can have it set up where it's the default, which there's usually two, and then you can set up multiple. And then once you set multiple, you wanna tap on this icon there, and then you select each area to, to choose your applications. Now you can have up to five shortcuts, at least on this phone. On larger phones, you'd be able to get six different shortcuts. Once you tap on all six or however many you would like to use, then you hit on apply. Now I've already have mine set up with the ones that I usually always use. And so now from here, I'm just gonna go over and hit on save. Now, just make sure that you have this one turned on for Lockstar to, to still work. But for the rest of this demo, I do need to turn this off and then turn on the regular default ones, which is already pre-installed in your phone. Now to use one of those that's already pre-installed on your phone, just pull down the notifications panel, hit on settings, and then you're gonna scroll down to where it says lock screen. Now, once inside of lock screen, you're gonna scroll down again, and then you're gonna see an option over here that is called shortcuts. So with shortcuts here, you tap on there. Now you're gonna have the regular default option of the bottom corners. And then over here is where you'd be able to change it. If you don't want it to be messages, just tap on that left shortcut, switch it to something else. But if you wanna have this floating icon, this is the one that most people usually like to use. Some people just don't know it's sitting there. The reason why this one is okay is this is by default. You might not even use these two applications from the home screen. A lot of times you unlock the phone and then you go into these applications. But what you're able to do with the floating button, as long as you have your fingerprint sensor or uh, your fingerprint turned on, check this out. Once you put your fingerprint on there uh, and you keep it held there, now you're able to just simply swipe it to one of those two applications and then it opens it instantly. The thing I love about this the most is that you usually always have to put your fingerprint on your phone to unlock it anyways. So in that position, once you press and hold, now you just swipe it into either of the two main applications you usually use. And then now you're already getting into your phone, but instantly getting into an application. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.